Can you believe it? Five years have passed, but it seems like yesterday when Art Center Traverse City joined hands with Crooked Tree Art Center in Petoskey to form Crooked Tree Art Center in Traverse City. We've achieved so much in these five years, but the story begins years before and is a testament to the perseverance of individuals dedicated to the belief in the need for vibrant arts and culture to sustain society. The year was 1951, when local movers and shakers like Jerry Olson, Les Biederman, and Elnora Milliken acted on a vision to develop cultural assets in northwestern Michigan. Using State of Michigan funding from a single piece of legislation, they were able to plant the seeds for Northwestern Michigan College, Traverse Symphony Orchestra, and the Northwest Michigan Artists and Craftsmen's Guild. The Arts and Craft Trails Guide publication traces its roots back to this time. Several years later, the organization's name was changed to Art Center Traverse City. Art Center developed thanks to the unflagging dedication of a volunteer board and members. It offered classes, summer workshops, and exhibitions. Eventually, the organization found a home in the All Face Chapel on Elmwood Street on the grounds of the Old State Hospital. The center survived financially on its popular summer workshops and fundraising efforts, such as the Downtown Traverse City Mural Project, based on a painting by local artist Charles Murphy. Eventually, though, the cost became too great and a move was needed. Board member Bob Streit, owner of Twisted Fish Gallery in Elk Rapids, offered a rent-free location in Acme to house a pared-down art center with one employee and renting outside spaces to conduct classes and exhibits as needed. This was a very lean period of about two years with the center supported by class tuitions, memberships, and out of their own pockets financial assistance from board members. However, Art Center's active and committed board continued to demonstrate their creativity by instituting a regimen of strategic planning and better budgeting. They also put together two successful fundraisers, one with local Grammy Award-winning jazz pianist Bob James and another in conjunction with the Traverse City Film Festival. Fortunately, a corner was about to be turned. Looking back at the initial goal of developing arts and culture regionally, Art Center board members Paul Laporte and Bob Streit led the board to organize a one-day idea-sharing conference for regional art leaders at Crystal Mountain Resort. This event was professionally facilitated by Russ and Leslie Knopp, consultants and owners of Comfort Keepers in Traverse City, now a proud sponsor of the annual Paint Grand Traverse event. Two people were in the audience that day who, a week later, met with Paul and Bob to initiate conversations that would lead to Crooked Tree merging with Art Center Traverse City. They were Liz Ahrens and Sydney McShirley. After an initial discussion about joint programming, board members of Crooked Tree and Art Center saw the benefit to both organizations. Crooked Tree would gain increased grant leveraging by serving a wider demographic, and Art Center would benefit from the strength, staff, expertise, and connections of Crooked Tree. The merger wasn't without skepticism, as some saw a more robust Art Center as diminishing area donor dollars. The merger was completed, and the final agreement document was signed November 19, 2014. Crooked Tree Traverse City found itself a home in the former History Center on 6th Street, only a few blocks from downtown. Classes and exhibits continued uninterrupted, and eventually the staff was doubled to two. Our first exhibitions in the new space were the annual Youth Art Show in February 2015, followed by an exhibition of work by the Plein Air Painters of Northwest Michigan in the spring of 2015. 2018 was a big year for Crooked Tree in Traverse City. It expanded its footprint to include the Carnegie section of the building, thus adding two galleries, a rotunda event space, and office loft. That summer, Crooked Tree hosted the renowned Oil Painters of America Summer Salon Show in the Carnegie Galleries and held the first annual Paint Grand Travers Plein Air Painting Festival. These two events brought recognition, new members, and new supporters. There was an increased interest in art classes and gallery visits in 2019, and along with additional development needs, it became apparent that an increase in staff was necessary. A full-time galleries associate and a Traverse City-specific finance and development committee were added. The Traverse City staff is now comprised of site director Megan Kelto, 
Art Education and Outreach Director Christy Wodek and Galleries Associate Monica Stokes. 2020 started with high hopes and expectations, which were quickly amended with the arrival of the COVID-19 pandemic. The third annual Paint Grand Traverse was reimagined as a hybrid in-person and online event, and profits from that event exceeded expectations by 50%. Most recently, news of another accolade came in the form of a citation by the SMU Data Arts Project. The report named Traverse City the 10th most artistically vibrant mid-sized community in the nation. It ranks Traverse City along with places such as Santa Fe, New Mexico, and Boulder, Colorado, and specifically mentions Crooked Tree Art Center and Paint Grand Traverse in its report. It was wonderful news in a significantly difficult year. Crooked Tree is looking forward to the next year and hopefully the pandemic subsiding. A cadre of wonderful volunteers stands by ready to assist when needed. Through Crooked Tree's engagement committee, they stay informed and of course, engaged. A round of applause and thank you to all of them. Crooked Tree Art Center demonstrates and addresses the need for art in the community, a common language that enhances lives. From the very beginning, the goal has always been to raise the level of arts and cultural awareness in Traverse City, and Crooked Tree is playing that pivotal role. 